break, we will take a look at sports from last night. We will also see what the newest film that Samsung has to offer. All this and more on this Friday, April 21st, 2017. Good afternoon, SLHS. I'm Kelly Buckdegan. And I'm Courtney Delperdin. Now let's take a look at your announcements for today. Seniors, if you are interested in auditioning for speaking at graduation, please let Mrs. Olson know by next Friday, April 28th. Auditions will be held May 5th. The Color Guard Clinic is going to be held Monday, April 24th through Wednesday, April 26th from 7 to 8 a.m. Tryouts will be on Friday the 28th at 7 a.m. The clinic is free, and if you have any questions, contact Tammy Browning at 712-320-5640. The first payment of $300 for the 2018 Texas j term trip is due on Monday, May 1st. Please see Jane in the office to pay her and make checks payable to Spirit Lake Schools with Texas j term trip in the memo line. Student council elections are next week. Officer forms are due Friday, April 28th, and speeches are on May 3rd. Student body forums are due Monday, April 24th, with speeches aired on Newsbreak next Wednesday, the 26th. If you plan on going up for baseball this summer, please sign up on the sheet in the office. All students who are already signed up for the Florida j Turn trip need to attend a meeting on Wednesday, May 3rd during common time in Mrs. Taves' room. Jostens will be here next Wednesday from 11.15 to noon to distribute caps and gowns for all seniors. Overdue library books need to be checked back in or renewed. Prom sign up is due today. Happy birthday to Arnie, Marta, and Max Heller. Now let's take a look at today's weather. Take a look at your weather for today. It'll be mostly sunny with a high of 58. And a low of 35. And then tomorrow will also be very sunny with a high of 64. And a low of 39. And then going into Sunday, it'll be, it'll be very hot out with a high of 68. And a low of 47. That's all your weather. Back to you guys. Taking a look at sports for today, last night the SLPO girls soccer traveled to Hull Western to face Western Christian. It was a tough game and was battled out until the last minutes. The girls went into double overtime with the Wolfpack and could not pull off the win. The final score was 1-2 in favor of Western Christian. Also last night, SLPO boys soccer hosted Western Christian. The game started out all SLPO. They controlled possession and struck first, taking the lead 1-0. Western Christian had a PK, but was unable to score after a save from SLPO's keeper, Greg Will. SLPO then received a PK and were able to score, raising the lead 2-0, ending the half. Starting the second half, the Wolfpack came out, firing on SLPO's defense, which led them to knocking SLPO's lead down to one. The game went back and forth until SLPO scored, ending the Wolfpack's chance at a comeback. The game would end with SLPO winning 3-1. Also last night, the boys track team headed down to Orange City to try and qualify for Drake Relays for one last time. It was a great night for the Indians and they had two relay teams that will be heading down to Drake. The 4x8 relay consisting of Maris, Skopek, McCaffrey, and Rankin, who all had personal records on the night. Also, the 4x100 meter relay took the win with a team of Rankin, Moody, Aaronsdorf, and Judgehan, also PRing. That was a look at your sports for today. Back to you guys. Now let's head over to Ryan Schmidt with Feature Friday. Thanks guys. Taking a look at the newest phone from Samsung that was released today. Apart from the irritating performance of the biometrics and the high price, the Galaxy S8 is a phone that offers an exceptional experience for any user. The large screen is a real turning point in flagship phone design and should usher in the end of large bezels, and the camera and sleep performance work brilliantly under the finger. It commands a premium price, but make no mistake, this is a truly premium phone. That is a look at the Samsung S8, back to you guys. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome week.